All right, how many of you guys remember this tweet from John Woo? For those of you who don't know him, he's basically the founder of the entire concept of Magisk and systemless routing. So it's needless to say that whenever we found his post, we kind of felt heartbroken. But you guys didn't really think that Magisk would be gone for good, did you? So I've been hearing lately that you guys want a tutorial on how to root your Android devices in the easiest way possible and also be able to run banking applications on your phones. Well, I'm here to help you out with that today, so let's not waste any more time and jump right in, shall we? But before that, here's a quick disclaimer that I'm just here for the tutorial and in no ways am I saying that you guys should or must go ahead and start rooting your devices, so I'll not be held responsible if you do end up doing something stupid to your phones. Okay, now let's talk about what you'll need to get started with the routing process. Now first up, you need to have an unlocked bootloader. If you happen to own any of the devices from Xiaomi or Poco, you can watch this particular video of mine. I made this quite a while back and it should walk you through the process quite easily. If you happen to own any other devices, there are plenty of other tutorials here on YouTube and they should be able to get the job done quite easily as well. So the next thing that you'll need is a custom recovery like TWRP or Orange Fox. Now, if you're running Android 12 or later, chances are that your internal storage might not get decrypted properly. And in order to transfer files between your phone or other devices, I suggest using a USB OTG thumb drive like this one, not sponsored by Sandisk by the way, and you should be good to go. All right, so with that being said, let's hop onto our phones and we'll be straight away navigating to magiskmanager.com, which is the official website for downloading Magisk. Scroll down a bit to where it says download Magisk app and then tap on the button to start downloading the APK file. Once the download has completed, head over to your file manager app and inside the downloads folder, select the APK file you just downloaded, hit rename and replace the extension of the file from .apk to .zip. Perfect. Alrighty, now let's reboot our phones and head to our recovery, which is Orange Fox in this case. Now, the version of Orange Fox that I have right here can decrypt our internal storage quite well, so we can easily access the zip file from our downloads folder. But like I mentioned earlier, if your recovery can't decrypt your internal storage, you can always use a USB thumb drive like this one to save the Magisk APK or zip file, and you can always access it through TWRP or Orange Fox by changing the storage option like so. Okay, so now let's tap to select the Magisk zip file that we have right here and we are gonna swipe the bar down below to start flashing Magisk onto our phones. Now, I've watched countless videos here on YouTube that tell you guys to manually patch and flash the RAM disk file, aka the boot image file or the recovery or stuff like that. But the way we are doing this here in this tutorial, you don't need to worry about any of those things because it's all automated. The zip file will take care of everything. So sit back and relax let the zip file do its thing and once the flashing is completed, you can simply go ahead and reboot your phones. So once you have been rebooted, you'll see this generic Magisk app icon in your app drawer. So go ahead and tap on it and it'll open up a prompt like so, to which we'll go ahead and tap OK. Then tap on Settings, select Allow from this source and then tap on Update to install the Magisk app onto your phones. After the installation has been done, you can verify if you have root access through the root checker application. And as you can see right here, our phone is indeed rooted successfully. All right, so now that you've rooted your devices, you'll soon find out that many of your applications, especially the banking applications, have completely stopped working on your phone. So how do we take care of that, you ask? Let's find out. So first of all, we are gonna take care of safety net. And to do that, download the universal safety net fix module from the link in the description below, and then head over to the Magisk app. Go to the modules tab and tap on install from storage. Then select the safety net fix zip file to have it flashed onto our phones. But don't just tap on reboot right now. Hit the back button like so, then tap on home and tap on the settings icon up here. Scroll down to where it's labeled Magisk and here is where you'll find the familiar toggle for systemless hosts. So let's tap on it to have this enabled. Then we have this functionality called Zygisk which is essentially an alternate to Magisk hide. So let's tap on it to have it enabled like so and also tap to enable enforce deny list. Then go ahead and reboot your system. Once you have been booted back, head over to the Magisk app once again and tap on settings. Scroll down once again to the part where it says Magisk and now we are gonna tap to configure our deny list. From the list right here, make sure that you've selected all the applications that have stopped working after rooting your devices and also don't forget to include Google Play services from the list of system applications just to avoid further issues in the future. Once that has been completed, go ahead and reboot your phone once more. 
and I promise that this is the last time we are doing this, but once you're back online, this time open up the Play Store and search for this app called Island and go ahead and simply install it to your phones. All right, so let me explain what we are doing right here. The Island app that we just downloaded is basically used to create a sandbox environment within our Android system, more like a work profile you can say. And how it will be helpful to us is basically we can clone all of our downloaded applications over there, especially the banking applications. And in that environment, matches will not be detected at all. Or in other words, you can say that our banking applications will not find out that our phones have been rooted. Now, I know this is a pretty weird workaround, but trust me, this is the only application that we'll ever need to get banking applications running perfectly fine on our rooted devices. And for those of you who are concerned about the authenticity of the app, let me tell you guys that this app has over 1 million downloads in the Google Play Store and it's also from the same developer who designed Greenify, an app that is very popular among the Android community. So you should not be having any second thoughts regarding this application. Alright, so now let's open up the Island app and the first page you'll be greeted with is this agreements page to which we are going to click on accept and this will create a work profile on our phones. Let's navigate through the steps like so and then you'll be greeted with this page right here. Now here, notice these two tabs, Island and Mainland. The Mainland is basically your phone system and here is where you'll find all your applications. So let's start by selecting our very first app right here, Access Mobile, and here at the bottom, tap on this Add button and select Island to create a copy of Access Mobile onto our work environment. You'll get this prompt to grant root access, so make sure that you accept and you should be good to go with the next app. Let's continue with a few more applications like HDFC and PhonePay. All right, now heading back to our app drawer, you'll find a work tab has been created for you. And in that tab are all the applications that are running inside the Island sandbox. And now if you try to open up any of the banking applications from this tab, you'll see that they run perfectly fine without any issues. All right, so that was pretty much it for this tutorial. A bit weird and complex, I would say, but overall rewarding. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, definitely hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. And if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on a single upload. So this is me, Rohit, signing off. I'll see you guys in my next video. And thank you so much for watching.